for daily ask reddit florists of reddit what is the most outrageous card message you've had to deliver with flowers if you like the video drop a like and subscribe so you never miss our daily videos my fiance is a florist she often sends me ridiculous messages she's been asked to attach to flower orders my personal favorite so far sorry i knocked up your friend from david we used to have a card that had a picture of a dog in a doghouse in it, used that one way too many times. Once someone had me write sorry, but I'm choosing her. You can have the kids. Thought that was pretty brutal. I use the doghouse card. Thought it was appropriate. This sounds like something I would send my gf as a joke. We don't have kids. In fact, just before we met for the first time, four years ago, we were texting, and I asked if it was cool if I brought my kid along. We met on a dating app where one of the questions was do you have slash want children to which we both resoundingly answered no. So I thought it'd be fun to give her a mild heart attack. She thought it was hilarious. She's a keeper. Not me but my florist mom. She had lady come in and get a decent bouquet and watched as she spent 20 minutes finding the perfect sympathy card just to write sorry you're such a dumb bitch. Apparently it was for her sister, my mom, who has three sisters, could totally relate. This question is so perfect for me but these are the two I can remember most recently. I love you, my dirty hooker, and please unblock me on Facebook. I sent a very explicit message to my so via an online order of flowers. I got a call from a very angry florist telling me that I couldn't write such lewd things in the card. We haggled a bit and he allowed me to sign the card with your hash one nasty man. When I worked as a florist we had several interesting ones that stood out. There was a guy who sent a dozen red roses to this girl every week, which is a lot of money, but not too unusual for some couples. However, the girl didn't want them, and my delivery driver often said last week's flowers were still on the porch. One week she called us and asked us to stop delivering to her as she had a restraining order out on the guy and that we could just donate the flowers somewhere. His next message was I'm sorry I came to your house last night, please don't call the police. Love, douchey guy and we refuse the order, but I still think about how thick this guy was to spend thousands on a girl who had an actual restraining order against him. Valentine's Day is a florist's most dreaded week, and the cards are always really sappy, generic, or embarrassing which provided us a lot of amusement. We also bring on extra help for the week, and one year we had an Irish guy answering phones and manning the register, while we furiously worked to create hundreds of arrangements a day in the back. This led to some interesting conversations as the accent created some miscommunications. Someone dictated a card to him that was something, like I can't wait to see you tonight, I'm counting down the time on the clock. They also literally said winky face haha, and the Irish guy asked him several times to repeat the message, to be sure it was right, then there was a long pause, and he had to mute the phone and laugh. After the call he said the guy resorted to spelling out the message, but had a little mishap, and said it's clock, c-o-c-k, clock. And from then on whenever someone asked the time we'd all say check the c-o-c-k. The dead roses arrangement accompanied by these roses are as black as your heart, bitch. The note on the order said to make the arrangement as dead looking and back quote goth as possible. An arrangement for a new baby, in this case twins. I'm sorry for the bad news. Good luck. Best part was they asked for a sympathy arrangement instead of one of the new baby themed ones. My husband likes to send me flowers to work for Valentine's Day with awkward messages knowing my coworkers will gush and ask me what it says. This year's card just said Epstein didn't kill himself. It was an old lady handwriting, so I can only imagine what the florist was thinking. <laughs>